Hey everybody, got a Neo Geo 4 slot on the bench today. This one was pretty interesting. The complaint came in saying that it had low sound. Well, the volume control was turned way down. Uh, so I called the uh, guy who sent it to me and he said, go ahead and recap it. Well, I looked through this one and it's already been recapped, but this is something for taking pictures of and taking a video of because somebody really just did a number on this board. If you look closely at these caps right here, get the focus to focus, notice this little BP written on the capacitors. Yeah, yeah, look right there. You see the little BP, and there's no negative symbol like this. Bipolar capacitors. So let's see here. We've got one, two, uh, let me see here. Looks like they did three four five let me get my three four and five and then six seven eight nine all four of these and they used mismatched capacitors that's not bulge it's just they put marker over it so it shines makes it look like it's bulging but yeah two different size capacitors uh 25 volt capacitors huge capacitors where they should have been 16 and you know these were 16 but they used some really strange ones you know Zycon you know, yeah that's a good capacitor I've never had any issues with those you know some of these are Nichicon uh, but then they used Rubicon over here and there's one called Surge back here on the one microfarad you know just capacitors that I would avoid at all costs you know these boards they're such a pain to take apart. It takes a lot of work to get them recapped. It's just best to go ahead and use decent parts. I use United Chemicon. Uh, some Elna's, not the brown ones that leak everywhere. Uh, some Nichicon, Panasonic Matsushita. You know, something that you're going to find that's that's a better name brand than, say, Capzon, Rubicon, Jamicon. You know, I've replaced so many of those that have died over the years. So we're going to go ahead and recap this and more on it here in just a little bit. So when desoldering the boards, there's a variety of things you can use for this. I use a paste solder station. I've got the SX70 here. And you just put it over here, count to a couple of numbers to soften the solder, and it just pulls it right out. Now, you can use desoldering gray, you can use a solder pulse, you can use vacuum bulbs, there's all kinds of different tools you can use to desolder the capacitors. The trick is just to get good with what you have because when you're good with what you have they just pull right out real easy. And with that I'm gonna finish desoldering all of these and start putting caps in. Now in the Neo Geos, you've got these 470 microfarad caps and the 100 microfarad caps, along with these 22s right in here, that are real pesky about having heavy ground traces on the top. So if you take your soldering iron and put it on the top, and your desoldering iron on the bottom, it just desolders real simple, and the cap comes right out. Okay. Now we've got all the caps off the board. It's time to inspect the traces, top and bottom since this board had been recapped before just to make sure that they didn't do any damage to any of the plated through holes or any of the traces on top and then we'll start populating all the uh, capacitors back in and now through the magic of editing all the caps are on now when SNK did this they did a really great job in one thing is that all these caps point in one of two directions so as we look at this, all the negatives are facing towards me on all the caps that are going in this direction. So if we look through this, we'll be able to see all the negatives on these caps and on the uh, power filter here, uh, the power filters here, the speaker ones, the power filter here, and this one, and this 22, and these two 4.7s, they all face this direction. Now for the others, they all face in that direction. So if we look at the 100 here, the 100 here and here, if we look at the 22s, the 220s, the 1 microfarads, the 470 and the 1 microfarads up here, 
they all face in the similar direction as do these here and here and this one being one that goes in this direction the negative faces this way so it makes it really simple to go through and make sure that you've got all these caps in in the correct sequence and the correct polarity orientation now for most of these you don't have to worry about them exploding but the ones that are filtering the power like the 100s and the 470s uh, those yeah those will go pop if you put them in backwards they will absolutely go pop the others, not so much. Uh, yeah, your ones on your speaker output to block the DC coming out from the amplifier. Yeah, those will pop. But your small signal ones up in through here, they're not going to go pop. But you might lose audio in the channel or have some problems if you have them in backwards. So double check everything before you fire it up because uh, if one of these things pop, they tend to stink like rotten fish in the room and they will run you out. They just, they're disgusting smelling. All right, next step is to power everything up and test it. Metal slug. Oh, now we've got it working. All the carts are in it. Nice loud sound. And now we've got another four slot that's been saved and that can be put back into an arcade cabinet. Hope you enjoyed the video.